so we came to know that now the author is older he is studying in university and uh, grandmother is busy in her wheel spinning and reciting prayer you all know wheel spinning uh, in hindi we can say charkha uh, that it was the time before partition so people used to make their clothes by their own and while uh, with the help of a spinning wheel so only half an hour she used to sit and other time she is busy in spinning or uh, busy in uh, prayer also reciting the prayer but just only half an hour was the time when she was quietly sitting and feeling very happy that was the happiest time of grandmother now when i decided to go abroad now uh, as i told you in the introduction that uh, kushwant singh had studied law so in that uh, in that uh, olden days before uh, partition people used to go uh, london or uh, anywhere outside india that is abroad foreign countries for studying law because in our india we don't have the law colleges i think that time so people used to go outside uh, means uh, out of india for learning this uh, for studying all this so many people had gone so kushwan singh also went to decided to go abroad for further study i was sure my grandmother would be upset now he was sure because he is the only uh, one child so grandmother he was the only one child in the home so grandmother will definitely get upset i would be away for 5 years now he is going for 5 year that time we don't have um, aeroplanes okay so it takes a long time to go out of india and uh, people doesn't used to come uh, every year or say in holidays and all this thing because uh, this happened today we are having uh, aeroplane just it takes uh, in the flight to only have to go for 5 or 10 hours 5 yeah, hours journey or 6 hours journey or we say within one day you are able to go to out of uh, india but that time it takes a long time so that's why people doesn't used to come so totally for 5 years is going and at her age one could never tell and now grandmother is very old so definitely uh, any day she would die so definitely she will be upset that uh, maybe i am not able to meet my grandson but my grandmother could she was not even sentimental but he was shocked to see that grandmother was not sentimental not even sentimental she is a uh, very quiet and uh, good lady always busy in her pr- uh, prayer so she had control on her sentiment so she was not even sentimental she came to leave me at the railway station but did not talk or show any emotion then she didn't show any uh, emotion or she didn't talk to me her lips moved in prayer then also she was busy in prayer her mind was lost in prayers her fingers were busy telling the beads of her rosary silently she kissed my forehead and when i left i cherished the moist imprint as perhaps the last sign of physical contact between us now what the author is saying that now she is again busy her fingers were busy with her uh, ro- uh, beads of her rosary and she was doing the prayer she only very silently she kissed my forehead and when he left her a moist imprint she came in contact with her grandmother so we come to know that grandmother is a very strong lady that means